Are you new to the world of Montessori? Are you feeling overwhelmed with all the information that's coming at you from social media, blogs, and YouTube? Believe me, I feel you. As a Montessori trainer, I meet so many parents who are eager to start Montessori at home, but all the information that's coming at them confuses them and they really don't know what works. I don't want you to worry. After two decades of experience teaching children, raising my own children the Montessori way, and training teachers, I am going to share with you five of the most common mistakes made by Montessori newbies. These are tried and tested tips that I'm going to be sharing especially with you. You will not find this in a book or manual because these come from the personal experiences of making our own mistakes implementing Montessori at home with our own children. Our wish is to help all of those who are starting the Montessori journey and make this a successful experience for both parent and child. So sit back and relax and let me share our valued secrets with you. Mistake number one, not having a Montessori mentor or a guide. It is really important to choose the right guide or mentor to help you correctly as you begin your Montessori journey at home. Like I said before, there is an overload of information out there and unfortunately not all of that information is accurate. If you have not had any formal Montessori training, make sure that you're taking information and advice from social media accounts and blogs that are run by someone who is qualified. People mean well when they share information, but it's not always the right information that you'd be getting. It makes a huge difference when you're guided by people with the right knowledge and information. Mistake number two, trying to replicate a Montessori classroom in your home. The first thing a lot of parents do is purchase a ton of expensive materials because they mistakenly believe that their home has to be just the same as a classroom. Montessori at home is very different. You actually don't need all of those materials. You will be amazed at how many activities that you can put together just with things that you can find around your house and most especially in your kitchen. We make the mistake of buying all these expensive materials and we try to make our child use them when actually they might not even be ready for it. As parents, when this happens, it upsets us, it confuses us, it even frustrates us because things are not working the way Pinterest and Instagram told us they would. The key is to observe your child and see what their interests are. And then only should we invest what we can see that they're ready for and that they would enjoy. When you take it slow, you will find this experience more enjoyable and successful for you and your child. Mistake number three, applying Montessori without fully understanding the philosophy. This is one of the most common mistakes I have found across the board. Most people I meet only know about the Montessori materials and activities. This includes both parents and teachers. They feel that the Montessori materials and the activities are the essence of Montessori. And once they know how to present the materials, they're home free, they can present the activities and they're ready to start. But that's not correct. Without understanding the Montessori philosophy, there is no way you will be able to implement Montessori successfully and support your child in all the wonderful ways that they need. The philosophy is our roadmap to giving our child the best experiences because through it, we understand the hows and the whys behind the materials and behind the activities. Moreover, it gives us a deep understanding of our child so that we can nurture them to reach their highest potential happily and stress-free. We have to take the time to read about it understand it so that we can apply it correctly and successfully. Mistake number four, mistakenly thinking that freedom means that children can do whatever they want, whenever they want, and however they want. Montessori and freedom are synonymous, but that does not mean children are just all over the place with no order. Yes, our children have freedom, but we also have this very beautiful term called freedom within limits. Something that exists in the lives of every human being. Freedom within limits means that we give freedom to the child, but we also have some rules around it. 
Just like adults have a lot of freedom, but at the same time, we have to have some rules within this world, right? Even in our homes, we have rules. Think about it. We have road rules. We have rules at the workspace. We have rules within our homes. If not, what a mess everything would be. Children too need rules, just a few simple ones, something that gives them a boundary within which they have the freedom. So, if you give them freedom to choose the materials and toys, then a rule would be to put it back. If you finish using the material, you need to put it back where it came from. Other rules may be things like using soft voices indoors, tidying your own mess, and things like that. Mistake number five, confusing a routine with a schedule. It's a well-known fact that children need a lot of structure and order to thrive. However, one of the first things many Montessori newbies do is to prepare a very detailed minute-by-minute -minute schedule. But how realistic is this? Remember, we're dealing with children after all. Montessori is about creating a beautiful environment that is fluid and it allows children to have freedom of exploration. When we're stuck to a schedule, we end up interrupting our child when they're deep in concentration or when they're enjoying an activity just because it might be snack time or it's time to nap. It's best to set up a routine which allows the child to be flexible and allows you flexibility too. Trying to follow a rigid schedule puts a lot of stress on parents and it interferes with the successful implementation of Montessori at home. And there you have it our top five mistakes when implementing Montessori at home. I just want to personally add, don't try and do this all on your own. Team up with like-minded people. Take a course, form a circle of friends who are trying Montessori at home, and together you can support each other and share your successes. I hope that what I've shared with you today will ease your transition into the amazing world of Montessori. Montessori is a wonderful experience for you and your child. And of course, there will be a lot of questions as you go along. If you do have questions, leave your comments below and I can come back and answer them for you. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you get notifications of our future videos. And please show me some love by hitting that like button below. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.